Well, few Oklahoma industries depend more on exports than Oklahoma's wheat industry, which makes the signing of a trade agreement between Taiwan and Oklahoma all the more important. We have worked on hard white wheat. Um, For the Taiwanese businessmen sitting around this table, this is a good chance to try before they buy. Hey. Taiwan is a major purchaser of the hard red winter wheat grown in Oklahoma, which is good for both nations. So you could get hot winter wheat from many states, but because Taiwan and the United States, and especially Taiwan and Oklahoma, has a very special relationship, so it's very important that we continue this friendship and this business relationship with the state of Oklahoma. Which is why this trade delegation from the island nation signed an agreement to make their primary hard red winter wheat purchases in Oklahoma and Kansas. Mike Schulte is the director of the Oklahoma Wheat Commission. They're looking at uh, purchasing anywhere from uh, 60 to 65 million bushels of grain over the years of 2012 to 2013. So we're looking at an economic impact for the United States wheat of around $484.5 million. And with growing demand from abroad, wheat prices at home remain strong for state farmers. But the success of this trade agreement may hinge on not what goes on in Asia, but with what local wheat growers have struggled with for a full year, the lack of rain. That is one thing that we are very concerned on at this point in time. That's why we are working with Kansas and some of the other states that have been listed, because right now we just do not have enough wheat in supply uh, to fulfill that entire market need. But thanks to a few timely late season rains, many Oklahoma wheat growers were able to get a crop in their fields this fall, but no, they're going to still need a little help from the skies above to capture a market across the globe.